tonight, we have a warning when it comes to the use of mail, and it comes from the national leader of the Postal Police Association. J.D. Miles has profiled post offices all across North Texas where overflowing collection boxes can put you at risk. Now, in a CBS News Texas exclusive, the Police Association's leader says this is only part of the problem. So when criminals see letters sticking out of a blue collection box, they know that nothing is being done. Photos like these from our reports last month about overstuffed collection boxes outside North Texas post offices had Frank Albergo shaking his head in frustration. And obviously, if letters are sticking out of a blue collection box, uh, uh, that's literally like a field day for uh, a criminal. Albergo is the national president of the Postal Police Officers Association. He believes lax security at some collection boxes is part of a much bigger problem that's led to a recent spike in mail theft complaints and stolen checks. Basically, they have gutted the postal police force, um, and they've done this during a mail theft epidemic. Albergo says in 2020, postal police officers were stripped of their duties protecting mail and letter carriers, and now are little more than building security guards. This is really a recipe for disaster right now. He's referring to the rash of more than 60 letter carrier robberies since the beginning of the year, including one in Arlington and one in Bedford. In many cases, Alberto says they are targeted for keys to collection boxes, which could each contain hundreds of checks that can be sold on the dark web, washed, and cashed. I mean, we were doing the job for decades and decades, and then all of a sudden, in the summer of 2020, they decided to pull us off the streets, and since then, mail theft has absolutely exploded. And so have uh, attacks on letter carriers. The Postal Police Association filed a labor complaint seeking a return to expanded law enforcement duties. Last week, an arbitration ruling suggested they won their case, but the Postal Service disagrees. In a statement to CBS News Texas, USPS says, while the Postal Service disagrees with the decision, the arbitrator made it patently clear that nothing in the award should be construed to indicate that the inspection service is required to deploy postal police officers anywhere outside of Postal Service controlled property. Your member officers want to be on patrol. It was working, I mean, no surprise there. Most criminals do not um, commit crime when postal police are on patrol. Albergo says his group has been lobbying Congress to intervene. Until then, a man who has spent more than 20 years as a postal police officer has this warning. Do not use the blue collection boxes. Walk into the post office and mail your letter. Otherwise, it's, it's a disaster. In Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.